What's going on guys? Uh, today we are going to be installing um, oversized handlebars on my O3 YZ125. Um, it took me a while to find to find the triple clamp here uh, for this year because uh, it's a discontinued part. I even tried to call Pro Circuit to find it. And they said uh, we would need an order of about 30 to 40 to uh, remanufacture that. Uh, and as you can see, these are the, the stock top, top clamp. It's a hard mount. So over here, we, I went with the uh, Pro Taper Evo Series Carmichael Bend and the Turner uh, inch and eighth bar mounts and some new rubber cones. Um, that's an extra tube for my rear. But I already took off the, uh, the stock ones. Uh, I did that the other night. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll put on the, the pro circuit clamp and mount everything up and we'll see what it feels like and we'll test it out today. I'll let you guys know how it feels. Uh, the vibration in the bike was pretty bad before I could get six, seven laps around. My hands would just start to cramp up already. So hoping that definitely solves the issue. So we'll be testing that out today. And uh, I'll let you guys know what I think of it. Right, guys so we just finished up putting the bars on uh, it didn't take too long but here's here's what it looks like now got all the controls on grips still a little bit loose from gluing it on but there she is not bad for an 03. So, I'm going to take it out for a spin. Uh, just a little bit of trail riding around here. See how it does. Um, I'll be sure to fill you guys in right after. See what I think. Mm-hmm. 
recap here today uh, the bars were awesome uh, definitely a lot less vibration in the from what I could feel um, in the bike itself I uh, definitely could ride you know probably three to four laps longer than before um, they kind of they broke the practice up into class today so I uh, didn't get as much time on the track as I wanted but I haven't ridden in a couple weeks so um, it was alright, not bad. I definitely got my fill in for today. But, all in all, the bars were great. Um, the bike ran well. Uh, definitely needs re-jetted. I think it's a little bit, like, higher elevation out there. I could definitely tell it was bogging out a little bit more. And I didn't clean the air filter either from the last ride, so I definitely, that probably didn't help much either. But... Uh, all in all, definitely a success. Uh, Holiday Mountain was a great track. A lot of sand, so you could hold it wide open. Uh, check in later. So yeah, we checked out 
Holiday Valley down there in Monticello, New York, uh, this afternoon. Uh, that was the first time I've ever been there. Like I said, it was pretty sandy. A lot of elevation change, uh, which was a good thing. Um, not many tracks really around here besides Broom Tioga that have that. So you come around those corners, hold it wide open. Uh, you know, swing it through second, third, fourth. Um, definitely a good feeling. I definitely need to put a new back tire on too. That definitely didn't help today either. Um, but we're probably heading down to Bud's Creek in a couple weeks here. Probably not next week, but uh, got some stuff going on. But that's definitely in the works. New Jersey Field of Dreams. That's another track I'd like to hit here pretty soon before the snow starts flying. Um, definitely some more ATV videos with the 400EX coming your way. Uh, it's hunting season right now, so I can't really explore too much around the area other than what we have here on our own property. But, um, yeah. So, uh, stay tuned. Some more videos to come you guys' way. Check you later. Peace.